Hey everybody, here's a quick video that I hope you can find useful uh, playing Call of Duty Mobile with a controller. So what I'm using is the Fly Digi Wasp 2. See it here plus the little trigger stinger right there. All right, I'm gonna take it apart just so you can see what it looks like. I'm actually missing a piece back here because there's supposed to be another button, but I lost it. That's another trigger. Now, just so you know, this thing connects via Bluetooth, but it has to um, simulate screen touches on your screen. Uh, so before you go any further and try to buy it, the Fly Digi Wasp 2 will not work after iOS 13.3. So 13.4 and up, unfortunately, you're out of luck. But I'll show you here, it's really good quality. This is a nice, uh, it's kind of pseudo rubbery texture, yeah, it's definitely not plastic. Here, we've got some decent plastic set up. B e and A buttons are clicky. Good. Decent, um, decent throw on the trigger. Clicks also. You have an LT, LB, and that's it. Oh, you also have this here. This home button. Now, it has a few combos. Like combo button presses, you can press the trigger plus A or B for a different button. Same thing for this, plus A or B. I'll show you this on Call of Duty, and I can show it to you on Minecraft. But first, let's set it up. So, it just snaps on. This little button here uh, pulls that up. Bring it down to phone size. Keep in mind, you might be um, pressing the power button if you close it too hard. That's good. It's locked in place, pretty good. No wiggle. That's the a little key thing I have in the back, the ring. And it fits comfortably. Um, they do have other versions, like the Wii 2T, which will have triggers on the right side too and buttons there. I don't have that. So this is how I have my Call of Duty set up. These are the buttons I have on screen. Joystick here, jump up here, crouch, reload, um, aim there. Pretty much I can play it with or without the controller. This, this being a kind of a claw setup thing that I'd have to do, which it's fine. I don't like it though, it's not that comfy. But what we really want to look at is how you're going to set up the controller. You get the Fly Digi app. You can download that on the App Store. Uh, Call of Duty now has a profile set up, or at least you can search it, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be adjusting it anyway. So this is how I have mine set up. If you take a look at these buttons here, you can see you can have A, B, L, B, L, T, the Fly Digi button here. That M that's the one I'm missing back here. It's like a third trigger you can use a middle finger on or whatever. Whatever's back there. I used to use that for jump, but that's gone. I lost it. That's fine. Alright. Then I said you could use the LT plus A, LT plus B, LB plus A, LB plus B to do other things. So how I have mine set up, obviously, joystick here. I can actually do a little test thing for you so you can see what presses. That's a joystick, goes up to sprint, my aim down sights, ADS, left trigger, left bumper to jump. When I press L3, it hits crouch. All right, so you're seeing me in the background there, that's great. So for the tacticals, got this, left trigger plus B, and left trigger plus A, because an aim down sight, that's fine. It'll work fine. You can even customize it to be like, um, let's see. You can customize these things to have like a set radius, um, and more, and more. For this game, I don't have anything special set up, I think. You can have it be an instant press. If you need to, you can set it up, uh, like MOBA. You click, click it and then you have to aim with the left, uh, stick. 
so if you're playing Mobile Legends or something like that, you can use this. But this is specifically for Call of Duty. And you just grab your screenshots from the game. Alright, I am canceling that since I've already got it set up. You hit apply, hit save, and that's that. Now, in the game, I'll give you a quick overview of my settings. You can just pause it and take a look. Tap and hold to ADS, display left fire button, tap crouch while sprinting to um, slide. Always sprint is actually off. And I have gyroscope on because as much as you know this feels like a mouse on the touch screen, it's still easier with the gyroscope for me. You can go into sensitivity. You can take a look here. There's my camera sensitivity. Firing. Gyroscope. I don't play BR, I don't have it set up. It's kind of annoying that you have to have three different setups anyway which is probably the main reason I don't play BR because I cannot be bothered right now to um, set it up. I have speed acceleration on, I don't know why. Uh, it's fine. So we don't even have to go to practice versus AI or anything. We can go straight to, uh, where's ranked? Am I the wrong thing? Ranked. Cool. Let me change my loadout real quick because I have the PDAW57, but I don't like the BK. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be that guy and use the S36. S36. Okay. It's gonna be a bit of an angle since I've got the phone, the phone cameras like on the left that I'm using to record this with. But you'll see here. Now I have this right trigger. You can set it to multi fire or single fire. Oh, I only got it to single. All of these charge. Um, the Wasp 2 uses USB C. This uses micro USB, but it really rarely runs out of battery. You could probably go for a couple days without having to charge it, and it doesn't take long to charge at all. I've got gyroscope set up. This map, yeah, we're going to use this for some range. Alright, sorry about the angle. Hopefully that shows okay for you. So I can always do the slide jump by clicking down. So I really have used the, the swipe to do larger movements, but for the most part, I use the gyroscope. Oh, it's so slow running around with this thing though, I swear. Guess I could switch. I just don't like to be caught off guard. So yeah, with this setup like this here, it's really easy to kind of get around and uh, kill pretty well. I know it's not fair to people that don't have it, but honestly, this is just more comfortable than holding a claw setup. I don't like the claw. I want to use UAV, I can hit... Oops, that's not it. It's this one. Oh. Where, where? We get him, we got him. Good. Yeah. So now we're gonna jam, hit that button. I'm waiting to die so that I can switch to the submachine gun because I don't like having to sprint a bunch. Ah, yeah, there we go. Cool, I died. Sorry about the fingerprints. Let's see if we can do something about that. Wait, change. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so I've got A to switch between knife, uh, secondary, and primary. I really carry much more. B is my grenade. 
I need to switch weapons. Yeah, I'm not gonna give him that kill. Okay. Oh god, I didn't do it. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it doesn't let me change loadout if I... Okay, gotcha. What if I do this? Next spawn, do that. Oh, if I slide. Control. Gonna get that knife kill. I don't have silent footsteps on this though, so if they have the... It's not called tracker, it's something else. They can hear me. Yep, sorry about that. Let me see where the phone was sitting. Hello. Obviously I'm not a high rank, you can see by how hard the enemies are. But, where's that here for me? Okay, so he finally died. Our loadout is going to be the first one. That's going to be a lot nicer. We're about to win too, so I don't need to bother with UAV or anything like that. Kind of want to show you just how it is. So that depends on your steadiness of your hand. I know I have it on the table right now, but don't really need it. Um, I play, you know, just holding it up just fine. Oh, somebody else shot me. There was a bunch of them. But yeah, of course, okay. It's pretty nice. I definitely think it's worth it, but again, if you don't have iOS, um, 13.3, like if you've upgraded to 13.4, there is a workaround. But you have to kind of have all of your buttons on like the left side and have the assistive touch on where it has like the home button on screen it's a pain and it sucks that apple um kind of screwed that over with some sort of carplay update carplay i don't know what it's called but yeah hope you like it that's the setup really comfy to hold uh, let me grab a ps4 controller real quick so you can see the size difference <laughs> I would play with the PS4 controller, but honestly, I like having the touchscreen. This is okay, and also Call of Duty Mobile doesn't let you customize the, um, what should we call it, the buttons. So that's about the size of this altogether. Yeah, I know, bad camera angle, but you get the idea. Yep. There it is. Good quality build. It comes with a case you can put it in. Um, yeah, cost about, I'm going to say somewhere around 30, no, somewhere around $40, plus this, which is maybe 5 or 10. You can probably find it for cheaper, but that's about it. Really comfy. Again, only iOS 13.3 and below. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, guys.